Wild Shoat in the key of G. Now, this tune is a crooked tune. We're going to notice that, especially in the B part. There's some uh, funny phrasing that we're going to come across. But for now, starting off with our A part, phrase one.
completes our A part, let's put the whole A part together and we'll play it two times through. Very nice. 
D and G together, almost angelic. So there's a little variation there if you want to change it up on that G chord sum. All right, now jumping into the B part, which is our crooked part. Um, this is somewhat of a call and response uh, B part also, but the crookedness comes in the call phrase. And so uh, we're gonna have sort of these extra beats here at the beginning of the B part that aren't repeated the second time when we go into this call. So the first time we're playing the call phrase, it's gonna be. That again.
part the first time we go through the B part. So that's B, and then we're about to go into B prime. So the second time we're playing the B part, it's going to change just a little bit. Remember that crooked uh, first phrase, first call that we had? That is going to be replaced with our non-crooked call. That again. And then this uh, first ending here in the second B part is sort of a hybrid of the second ending from the first B part and the first ending from the first B part. More confusing to say, I think, than it'll sound. Walking up F sharp G, we're going to do that little uh, rock that we had before. starting with our crooked B part and then our not so crooked doing in here. 
beginning, uh, typically I just play it a single note. Until I hit this B note. On B, I'm going to play an open D against that. You're going to put your C note, C natural, your low second finger down on the A string at the same time that you're playing your E, that first finger on the D string. first working on this tune. Uh, just take that bit and practice it over and over and over. What I was always hearing uh, there was this chord instead, which I think that's a B minor, but the actual chord being played there is a C, C major. That, rather than that. And it's a little harder to get to. So uh, it's really helpful though, if you're playing with guitar players or any other uh, chord, backup chord instruments, to hit that C chord. So if they're unfamiliar with the tune, they're gonna know, go to C, don't go to B minor there. Uh, we are in the key of G. C is the natural chord there. G almost as a bell note where I'm just striking it and pulling my bow off immediately. And then I really lay in to that G as I'm playing it here at the end of the phrase. And then we have our call again. Same uh, double stops as before. Not too fast. <laughs> 